Hey guys, uh, just a quick note here. I realized after I edited the video that I forgot to tell you guys that you don't need to take the muffler off in order to check the valve clearance. And also the same procedure you're going to see in this video will apply to pretty well any small engine with a flat head, meaning an engine that's not overhead valve. So just make sure you have the proper valve clearance for your specific engine. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to check the valve clearance on a flathead Tecumseh engine on a snowblower. The only tool you're going to need for this today is a good feeler gauge that you can buy at any auto parts store. Now here's the engine, it's all apart. It's a 10 horsepower Tecumseh engine on a snowblower as you can see. Now this engine when you pulled it over there was no resistance whatsoever and when the engine started it had no power whatsoever as well and it did not run properly even after cleaning the carburetor. So this happens from time to time to these engines. I took the head off because that's what I assumed the problem was, was with the valves. Now this is the exhaust valve, this is the intake valve. It's at top dead center when the piston should be at the top and both valves closed. And I can still move the exhaust valve so that tells me it's not seating tight enough on the seat. The intake valve is tight so that's good. But often I see that the exhaust valve on these engines will be loose like this, not making a tight seal and letting compression pass through it. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to check the valve clearance. First of all, you have to remove the carburetor, the muffler, and the small plate that goes over here. And this is not an overhead valve engine, so the valves are on the side of the engine like this. Here's the exhaust valve, there's the intake valve. I'm going to grab my feeler gauge, put it in between the valve stem and the push rod and check the clearance. The manual for this engine indicates that the intake valve should have a clearance of eight thousandths of an inch and the exhaust valve twelve thousandths of an inch. And with the engine at top dead center like this I'm going to measure the valve clearance. Never measure it if the piston is halfway down or the valves are open. You always want to do it this way. So I've got my filler gauge ready with the eight thousandths of an inch blade out. By the way this is the metric conversion of eight thousandths of an inch. Now what you want to do is grab your feeler gauge and insert it between the push rod and the valve stem right over here. And you can see that the feeler gauge fits perfectly in there. It's not too loose, it's not too tight. So that's perfect. That's what you want. So with the feeler gauge nice and smooth like that, I know that this valve is set properly. Now to check the exhaust valve, I've got the 12 thousandths of an inch blade out. And I'm just going to proceed to do the same on this valve. And as you can see, I cannot even fit the feeler gauge in there. So that's not good. So I was trying with the 12 thousandths of an inch, which is what is required on this valve. And I'm going to try the 8 thousandths of an inch just to see if there is any clearance at all. And by the way, I cannot even fit the 8 thousandths of an inch. So that valve is way out of adjustment and the three thousandths of an inch blade will not even fit in there so I know that I'm gonna to have to take the valve off and grind the end off a bit just to make the clearance good again. So that explains why the valve is loose like this. The valve cannot go down enough to make a tight seal. So to fix this I'm gonna take the valve off. Here's another valve I have here. I'm just gonna grind off a bit from the stem here and it's gonna give it some clearance. And now after adjusting the valves properly I'll just show you how it runs. And now that the clearance is properly adjusted on the exhaust valve, there's a lot more resistance when you just turn it over like this. Before you could not feel any resistance whatsoever. So that's how you check the valve clearance on your Tecumseh flathead engine. Remember to buy yourself a good feeler gauge before you do this, and hopefully you'll be able to do it yourself. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.